Today, we are wrapping up what I'm dubbing Jack Daniels Week with a very special bottled and bond bottle that is a Traveler International exclusive. Let's get into it. Hello, everyone. Welcome or welcome back to Brad's Bourbon Reviews. I'm Brad, and today we got another Jack Daniels bottle. I didn't plan to do these Jack Daniels videos like this back to back to back, but it just kind of worked out that way, and I'm calling it Jack Daniels Week, and that's just what we're going with. So this bottle right here is the Jack Daniels Bottle and Bond, and I believe I have. I should have done research again. I always forget to do research, and I start talking in the moment and forget to do research before these videos, but I'm pretty sure that this was the first version of the Jack Daniels Bottled and Bond that you could get, and this is available at like duty free shops and I believe at some military bases. I think this was like 40, 50 bucks for a liter of Jack Daniels bottled and bond. And this is going to be kind of a two parter video because I'm going to give this a proper taste test, but I'm also going to compare it to this version of the Jack Daniels bonded and we'll see which one's better. Um, before we compare them, I got to try this one. Now, full disclosure, I have had this one before. One time when Holly was traveling to New Zealand for a wedding, when we first started dating, she brought me back a bottle of this and it was really good. And at the time I was still like mixing all my whiskeys with Coke and I mixed this whole thing with Coke and I don't remember even tasting it by itself. So yes, I've had it and I've kind of had it with this, but we're gonna see if this is any different and if it can stand on its own. This was another bottle from my friend, Nicole, who lives in Can Canada. And she got me this bottle and thank you very much. I appreciate it. I've been looking forward to this all week. I knew this was coming. All right, let's give it a proper nosing and see how we feel. It smells like Jack Daniels. A little more proofy on the nose, a little more sweet honey, a little more butterscotch. That banana note's coming in through like I get on every single Jack Daniels product. It smells like banana bread. We're in heaven. This smells, I, I don't really think there's gonna be that much difference between this and the bonded Jack Daniels. I think they just bottled it in a different way. That's just a guess. If you can get something like the Jack Daniels bonded, I urge you to try to not mix it with Coke. Uh, of course, if that's how you want to drink it, by all means, do it. But I think there is some really, I think there's some real beauty in Jack Daniels products. I think they get overshadowed with stuff like Buffalo Trace and Wild Turkey. But man, when they do something right, they do it right. And this smells incredible. Let's give it a mouthing. Let's see how we feel. I'm pretty sure that's the same exact juice. It tastes great. A little, it actually might be, I mean, it's, he, it's heavenly. It's absolutely delicious. I, I am of the firm belief that this should be Jack Daniels base offering. I think it's just a good proof point for them. 80 proof for them is just a little too watered down in my personal opinion. And you lose a lot of those notes at that point. Look at something like just regular wild turkey 80 proof versus wild turkey 101 and how much that proof point is. Not, I mean, it's 20 proof points. But that's not like, you know, 120 versus 80 proof, you know? I think that those proof points that in that 100 range are where people should start with bourbon because you're going to taste things that are more interesting to you. Be a little hard at first. You might need to drink it on ice because it's hot. But I think 100 proof is like the starting point, at least what I would recommend people. And if you don't like the 100 proof stuff, go maybe down to 90. But a lot of that 80 proof stuff is like designed to be mixed. So unless you're doing that, you're not going to appreciate what's actually in the glass if you're just drinking it with Coke or something like that. So that's my little PSA. Uh, I don't know where that came from or why I went off on a tangent, but we, I, I did it. So that's just what it's going to be. Let's compare the two. In this glass, I'm going to keep the 100 proof. In this glass, I'm going to put in the bonded, the Jack Daniels. Well, they're both bonded, but the regular one. All right. International exclusive one you can find, at least in my area, and on, on pretty much any shelf of any reputable liquor store. So let's compare the noses and see if they're any different. No. <laughs> I, I'm I am convinced these are just these are the same exact juices going into these bottles. Yeah, there's no difference here. The only the only difference I'm picking up on is that this one's lighter, and that's because I've had this bottle since it came out and it's been open for a while, almost a year. Aroma wise, they are exactly the same. Let's give it a mouthing to see how they compare. I love this. I'm so glad I have a liter of this. It's the same. I didn't expect anything else out of it. I just don't want that people to think it's a special edition version of it. It's just you're getting a liter of it. Well, that is the review and the comparison today. Let me know if you've had Jack Daniels bonded down below, what your favorite version of it is. I really love the Jack bonded rye. It's one of my favorite whiskeys of last year. While you're down there, leave a like and subscribe. We are on our way to a thousand subscribers. It would mean the world to me if you did that. Thank you for watching. I will see you on the next one. Until then, cheers. Cheers.